If you want a good board, you get it from a good shaper. For me, what I want to do in kiting is I just want to ride a wave like I do surfing. I froth so hard riding on my backhand. I think in surfing it's the most purest form and you can really make it look like artwork. This particular move is just a standard re-entry and it's probably the most common move to do on your backhand or even on your forehand. It's been around since the very beginning. But I think when it's done right, it just, it just looks so good. When I'm riding backside, it's all about unhooking. It's all about opening up my body, getting really good drive, speed and power off my bottom turn, and then just hooking into the lip as hard as I possibly can. So you can see here, I've already unhooked. I've, I've eyed off exactly where I want to hit. And now what I'm doing is I'm just generating speed and drive off my bottom turn and just aiming at the lip just to throw everything that I can into it. When I'm driving off my backhand, I'm lowering my centre of gravity like I'm almost sitting on a seat. This really drives your board. With my back foot, I'm pushing off it really hard and I'm using it to point me in the direction that I want to go, but leading, leading with my front shoulder. When you come up and you hit the lip, you want to try and go as vertical as you possibly can. Remembering the more drawn out your bottom turn is, the more vertical you can actually go. Basically, when your board gets halfway up above the lip, that's when you want to jam really hard on your tail and then move all your weight and your momentum to your front foot. It's going to um, obviously change your direction from your heel side to your toe side, but it's going to really push your tail and then also keep your momentum in moving forward, which is really important. If you don't keep that momentum in moving forward, you will basically just get caught up in the lip and the wave will leave you behind. I want the kite to not be pulling me at all. I want it to be above my head. But as I come back down, I also want to bring the kite down low so it's moving in the forward momentum that I am too. So when I do get to the bottom of the wave, I'm also going to keep flying the kite in that forward motion so the kite doesn't stall and I pass by it and it falls out of the sky. Doing a backside re-entry is one of the simplest moves you can do, but to do it properly it does get quite technically challenging. The most important thing is getting drive out of your bottom turn and really hooking into the lip as hard as you possibly can. Remember you want the kite to be straight up above your head without any pulling power during the turn and as you come back down from the turn that's where you want to fly the kite in a forward motion so that you and your kite can ride out of the move perfectly.